Hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new series on the Sivius Toy YouTube channel. Well, for the first time in, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I think in eight months, Patchy will be playing a game that's not Hearts of Iron 4. We're back. Well, not back. We're here for the first time with some oxygen not included. Now, many of you may have heard of this game, and I played it way back when in the pre-release. I think the last time that I played was right when the game first did the full release, but I played it the most during the totally tubular update and at the end of the uh, automation upgrade. So, I, 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 you could say that I'm pretty new to this game, even though I have 300 hours. Those 300 hours are spent playing with only about half the material. So, let's get right into this. Now, the first part of the game is produce it, is choosing your rock. Also, this is a mod that I was testing out with the mini base. It's interesting, but I don't know. Now, I am pretty new to the game, so I'm thinking that maybe we want to just go off with the Terra world. And I was thinking that potentially what we could do is if this series gets to, I don't know, what's a good goal? Let's say 50 views on the first video or five hours of watch time, we will progress, potentially either playing this world again, or moving on to another world. And what I'm thinking is that if we can survive for a, like, certain number of cycles on each world, like 200 or something, we progress to the next one and see if we can beat every single world. Well, you don't really beat because it's a survival game, but let's see what happens. So this world is no stable and un has no unusual features, so we cannot change these things here. It says that this world, Terra, meets all the requirements for duplicate life and holds no surprises. It's an ideal occasion for our first attempt at establishing a, a colony. Now, even though I am pretty experienced, I think I would consider myself kind of noobish. So, let's let this game load, and I'll be right back to pick our duplicates. All right, we've gotten to the screen where we can choose our duplicates. And the last time that I played the game, the, uh, the meta was to always get... Uh, or to hopefully get a researcher because way back when when I was big into this game You actually didn't get this all your duplicates were quite random So yeah, but you can actually pick your duplicates and you can re-roll them and look for certain traits Which in my personal opinion, I don't really like this I I think it's cooler when everything is sort of like random Although then again, you could get really bad duplicates and your colony sucks, but eh, Not the end of the world. All right, so let's see. This is a science person. They have seven Science, that's pretty good. Interior decorator. Hmm. I don't know if I like this one so much, but squeamish is okay. Because this person's a doctor. But they're allergic to floral scents. So maybe having the doctor be allergic to stuff isn't exactly the best thing. Now, bottomless stomach is a really bad trait. So we're not going to get that. We're not going to keep that. We probably should get maybe like a digger or a farmer. I know that there's a, a meadow... Because I watched a few YouTube videos where you get like a rancher or even like a tidier so that the, the base stays tidy. But I think I want to get myself a digger. Now this person does have decreased germ resistance. That's kind of bad for somebody that is a digger in my opinion because they might get diseases. Digging. Decreased strength. Definitely no. Quick. If only this person could have the science. Because think about that. Wow, that'd be, that'd be pretty good. Um... Not do cooking errands. Hmm. Decreased athletics. I don't know. Oh. Hmm. I I I think maybe we want to go with that. I think that that could be good if he's got mole hands. I mean, he is anemic, but you know, it's not the end of the world. All right. So we've got a got a researcher. We've got a digger. Maybe we should. Maybe we just keep a doctor. I mean, a doctor could be useful. I've never done... I've never played with a doctor right off the bat. Um, falls asleep periodically. But they do have germ resistance. No, definitely not. Uh, nah. I don't... Flatulence is not good. Slow learn is not good. Well, I want to at least get somebody that has seven. So maybe I'll come back once I have myself all of the traits and stuff that I have or that I want. All right, so I now have all of the duplicates that I want. I've got a a researcher that has decreased bathroom use speed, which is in my opinion one of the best negative traits. He also has grease monkey because 
the spinny hamster wheel thing is going to be useful if the researcher can use that so he can recharge the batteries that power his research machines. Then we've got a digger who has diver's lunge that decreases air consumption rate. However, they do have decreased strength for noodle arms, but I think that the diver's lungs, which is one of the best positive traits, I think cancels out the noodle arms. And then we've got a doctor who is immune to food poisoning and can't do attacking errands, which by and large after irritable bowel is probably one of the best worst traits. Now, let's see, what do we want to call these people? I think we should call, uh, you know what, let's, let's keep their names. I think that that could be interesting. Maybe uh, if anybody in the comments has idea for names, we could keep that. But I, I think that, uh, I'm trying to think of a good name for the colony. And I'm thinking that's something that could be interesting is if, because uh, this is what I called one of my previous colonies that I was that I was playing. I called it Sivius, uh, Sivius Dump, but I, but, um, um, oh, here's a, here's one, Sivius Cesspool. How about that? Sivius Cesspool. <laughs> All right, let's embark. Okay, and the game crashed, but we're back. <laughs> with different duplicates, as you can see here. And we're just going to rename this to the Sivius Cess Pool. And uh, we're gonna try this again, and we're gonna see if the game loads. Come on, baby. Okay, well, I unchecked the mini base mod. Hmm, okay, I'll be right back. All right, you know what they say. Third time's the charm. Let's, 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 come on. Please work. Pretty please? Dear Lord, the game worked, guys. Yeah, I, I, I had to just, un I just totally unsubscribed from the, <laughs> from the mini base mod. But, all right, so, let's see. What do we have here? So we're in the starting biome. So this is basically just what the base looked like back in the pre-alpha stages of the game. So I guess we'll just dig off to the side here, and we'll dig off to the side here. But we'll make sure that we don't mind the oxalite, because as I know, you don't mind the oxalite. Let's go to that speed, and let's see what happens. So my plan today is to play the first 10 cycles of the game, potentially with periodic pauses, depending on what I feel like. But, you know, you never know what's going to happen with these kinds of games, do you? It is, uh, it's, it's basically a stress. I don't know, is this a survival strategy game? I don't know exactly what that definition entails. Alright, so we got good temperature. We've got a hot biome there, hot biome there. It seems like this is a pretty small starting biome, but I don't know if they've changed the size of starting biomes. They might have. It looks like we've got water here, we've got water here. We've got water up there, but that's kind of useless because it's up there. I'm thinking maybe what we could do is we could... I'm trying to decide where I want to make my ladder. Maybe we can make it right here. That could be useful. And then we just pop our water outlet in there. Yeah, we could do that. We're probably going to need to make an oxygen generator when the time comes. But we need... We need metal. Where's their metal? Alright, so there's some metal up here. It's not so bad. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, and we have a a fun, a chlorine gas vent literally right, right at the base. That's, boy, is that useful. Um, I don't care about these stupid tutorials. We should probably actually work on making an outhouse. One, two, oh, oh, no. Let's make ourselves an outhouse right there. And then let's get ourselves two wash basins. One, to should we put the wash basins here yeah, let's put the wash basins here and then once we get showers we can put them here yeah that works and then what we should do is one two three four we should leave a space so we should pop a pneumatic door in there actually let's make these a slightly higher priority i want the outhouses done yeah this is one thing that happens whenever i put oxygen not included i always get to a point where um I, I get to a point in the game where it's just like the everything is priority nine. 
So I'm gonna try not do that. In the 300 hours that I've played, I've never gotten to a point where I don't have priority nine on everything. But you never, but you never know with this game. It's 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 just it's it's just like a fun, relaxing game until it's not relaxing. But it's supposed to be a fun, relaxing game. Yeah. So this starting biome seems, at least to what the old starting biomes used to be, it seems pretty like small. Also. This is very not good that we have a really hot chlorine gas vent right here. And what is it emitting chlorine gas? 60 degrees Celsius, dear lord. Um, alright, so we should probably dig down and get ourselves some water. Now. How do we want to do this? Maybe we make our thing here. Yeah, we can make the ladder there. Or maybe, maybe not there. Maybe, one, two, three. Yeah, we can make, why don't we make it, why don't we make it here? And I'm making it three wide just for better ventilation. Because then what I can do is I can also dig up here. And I can do like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, another thing is if we, if we ever get to a point in the game where we can use the, um, the tubes and stuff, it would be good if i'm gonna put the oxygen thing right there i think yeah i think that's a good spot for it but if we do ever get to a point where we unlock the uh, tubes and stuff we want to have space in our vents and stuff to do that so i'm going to finish this little set of building and i will be right back okay so we've now gotten to a point where duplicates are idle and we finished a lot of stuff. Let's see how much is left here. Still a fair bit. So, I just started digging up here because my plan is to eventually put cots here. We've got oxygen set up, a little battery. We've got a manual generator. And I think that it is time that we start preparing some research. Oh, we also tap down into the water down here. And maybe we should pop up a microbe musher too. So we're gonna need some food at some point. Maybe we should also plop in some floors right here too, just for increased run speed, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that'll be good. Similarly, one thing that we could do is we could go down to this level here and we could maybe get ourselves some storage going that would be interesting maybe tap into over here get all this mule wood and stuff so that then we can make a farm over here that's a good idea all right i know that that noise <laughs> that is just so wrong in so many ways Let's, uh, let's just get them to dig this out, though. Because I want to get over there and get that mule wood. Similarly, um, no. Nope. Let's see. Mule wood, mule wood. This will awesome. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Get all the mule wood. Oh, there's a mule wood. There's mule wood. If we can get over here, we can get this mule wood, too. Maybe I'll send some dupes over there. Get that. Oh, definitely get the muck root, too. Uh-huh. Let's see. So where do... Maybe... I'm just thinking to myself for a second. Because if we could theoretically set up a farm here, that might not be so bad. Because the thing is, is mealwood, they don't need, uh, they don't need oxygen, but they do need a good temperature. So we don't, definitely don't want to put it near the chlorine vent. We could put it either down here, I'm thinking, or we either have to put it up here. Now, the problem with putting it down here is this is near the water. However, to be fair, mealwood do need water. So, if we go into the... the so, I'm pretty sure that mealwood, they need two to grow. Right? Or is it three? One... No, it's one, two to grow. So we could potentially have two, we could put a storage, a little storage thing here. And then what we do is we put here 
we could get farm tiles and we could put mealwood right here like directly under the base or similarly what we could do is because since the research station produces heat we put the storage bins here and then what we do is we put all of the mealwood down here yeah 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 that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna do that but we're gonna make all of this for priority because we want to get this because we want to tap into here and get this stuff and uh yeah so once all of this stuff is done and we've made a micro mission we are starting to build some food and we've started researching into the farm tiles i will be right back okay so we have now had our first duplicate drop so i'm thinking that i i, I don't think i want to get hatchling ends i think that i do want to get a duplicate this time now we do have some options. We have Mima, we have Catalina, and we have Harold. Well, we have two of the hatchling eggs. But I'm thinking that I want to get Catalina. We've got a digger. And supplying gives bonuses to tidying. I mean, tidying also gives bonuses to supplying, but she's got lots. She's got good supplying. I'm thinking we could have, like, a gopher. And she does have decreased science, but I don't think that that's the end of the world because she does have buff and she has iron gut. I think that we are going to get ourselves a Catalina. Also, similarly, we can um, assign skill points, too, to Catalina. So we can give her that, and she, we can assign her that carrying hat. And then we can go up to schedule here. Oh, not schedule. Um, maybe I should add a new schedule. Let's pop Travaldo, and let's pop Catalina onto that. And let's make their... Yeah, that's good. So that we have the most efficient working time frame. Similarly... Let's make it their bathroom there and their work there so that we don't have a rush to the bathroom. I think that that is pretty good. Or maybe, yeah, I think that that's good. All right. Let's similarly, let's add some new priorities. So she's good at tidying and supplying and storing. And I think maybe we should have these people have decreased storing. Obviously, similar supplying, but this is her stuff. Or maybe what we do is we just keep all that the same. Obviously, I don't want people researching. I only want... Travaldo to research. Actually, let's decrease all of his other stuff so that he focuses most on researching, which he is currently doing. Alright, so once we are getting closer to setting up that mulewood farm, I will definitely come back. Okay, so we now have researched the farm tiles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come right in here and I'm going to place in a bunch of farm tiles, right? Like so. I think that that should be pretty good. Similarly, this is actually almost out of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with these tiles. I go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And that will be a bedroom. Because bedrooms, in order to get the bedroom bonus, have to be 16, or uh, have to be a maximum of, or barracks, 64 tiles. So we're definitely going to need this. And I want to actually set this tile right here to be priority so that we get that filled so that these two tiles aren't taking up space in our bedroom. Let's pop that guy in and let's get ourselves some cots in here. Who made a mess? Ah, uh, okay. How did... Oh, that's why. Yeah, can you guys, like, do that? Oh, no, now there's going to be pee everywhere. Ah, damn it. All right. Well, I guess it's not the end of the world. It was inevitable that pee was going to get everywhere. It's an oxygen not included game. Oh, can you, um, can you break that, actually? Maybe, maybe you could, like, yeah. Mm-hmm, please. Please. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. All right, now let's mop everything up. I would like it if you guys come up. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. So now that we've got all that mopped up, that will actually start producing some polluted oxygen, which is not very good. But, you know, not the end of the world. So once I have the next phase of construction complete, uh, complete maybe I've thought about what I'm going to do with my life, I think I'll come back with an update. All right. We have now received our next shipment of duplicates. And I... Don't really like any of these duplicates. So we're gonna take the coal. 
Woohoo! No, not really woohoo. As you can see, there's been some progress on the base. We are now in cycle six. We're working on the good old Mulewood farm, and life is good. We're researching all the things. I think I'm planning on... We just got more of this stuff here. I think I'm planning on eventually building a little station out here that is going to be... I, I don't know what it's called. Like the refinement station, I guess you could call it. So that we can start using actual, uh, oh wait, this is, um, yeah, fix that please, guys. I'm just gonna make that, actually, you know what, let's make it seven, because I think the highest priority, it doesn't matter if it's nine, if our other highest priority is six, seven, therefore, is the highest priority thing to do. Uh, let's see, so... Yeah, that's basically what we're doing. We're just expanding the base. We're getting it ready. I'm going to make that refinement thing. We're going to start pumping up some water. And we're going to start having actual plumbing and stuff. Instead of outhouses, we'll have lavatories and showers. And we'll have actual sinks. Maybe I'll set up a little medicine area up here. We do have the micro busher. We've got the oxygen diffuser. We're going to have ourselves pretty soon. We're going to have ourselves some lice left, which is a pretty reliable food source, albeit it's not exactly the uh, nicest or healthiest for the dupes. It's what they're going to have. And then I don't, I don't know where we're going to go from there. I'm going to have to think about it. We're definitely going to have to do something with this polluted water so it's not emitting polluted oxygen. But that sounds like a uh, future V problem, if you know what I mean. Anyways, once some more progress has occurred, I will definitely come right back. Okay, we are almost at cycle 10 and we have finally got and we've gotten our next care package Now my plan is that with this care package. I'm going to get an arbor acorn now I'm gonna get an arbor acorn because as far as I know you can't get arbor acorns in this uh, base world So I'm thinking that maybe I could use this to make some sort of arbor farm or some sort that could definitely be interesting. Now, as you can see, we have definitely expanded the Mealwood Farm. We finished setting up stuff here. We've started the storage facility. We're getting ready to you to build a a great hall, which will definitely be useful. We have completed more research, and we are almost at cycle ten, which is sadly going to be the ending point of this episode. We are finally gotten to a point where we're increasing our calorie counts, not decreasing it, which is definitely good. And it says that we have insufficient, uh, no, we no longer have insufficient uh, oxygen stuff. Also, another thing is I killed one of these little shine bugs because they were getting in here and disturbing all of my duplicates who were trying to sleep. And my duplicates, they need their beauty rest. But that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed, and keep in mind that if we do get to 50 views in this video, we'll be continuing this Oxygen Not Included series. I will catch all of you next time, and make sure that you subscribe and go and follow us on our Twitch and Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to YouTube and hit the bell button and do all the things that all the people always say to do. But that'll be it, and I will see all of you guys next time.